So I'm back at this property because they say that they've got a light that needs repairing. I've got a light that needs repairing. And I can already tell this is going to be a weird job. And it very much looks like I'm right. Have you got a bulb? Or is it a lamp? Well, whatever you call it, I stuck it in, switched it on, and then I was happy. Until I noticed. Ah, so you've got a new detector. Yeah, I fitted it myself. So with that nugget of information, it was time for me to go. Right, that's me done. I'll leave you to it. And then it hit me. Yeah, I yeah, fitted, fitted it fitted myself. It myself. So after hearing off the customer that they changed the detector downstairs, it got me thinking, have they changed the detector upstairs? <laughs> no, and this meant they had two different brands of smoke detectors in the property and they were both interlinked together. So I politely explained to the customer that you shouldn't do this and agreed to upgrade his smoke detector for free so they both matched. And here's why you should never mix brands of smoke alarms in an interlinked system. Interlinked alarms are type tested as a full system. That means they're designed, tested and certified to work together. Different brands don't guarantee compatibility, even if they are physically linked. Alarms from different brands may respond differently, triggering at different times or not at all. You can't rely on the test button to confirm interlinking is working. And if it fails in a real emergency, there's no fallback. And yes, it can be an awkward one, certainly if the homeowner has installed the detector themselves. But with a bit of diplomacy and the care and heart I'm known for, we can get it sorted. Two new alarms and the same brand. Fully tested, fully interlinked and no grey areas. Right, that's me done. <laughs>